Hey, it is February 27th and I am Tara Swiger and welcome back to what I hope will be my weekly vlog. It has been a while since I recorded a vlog episode. You might know me from Explore Your Enthusiasm, my weekly podcast for makers and artists to talk about the hard part of having a business and having a life and how to manage it all. You can find it on iTunes or here on YouTube. Um, what I wanted to do here is just share snippets of my week each week and tell you what I'm thinking about and also give you some insight into what is coming next. So I wanted to tell you the story behind this guy behind me. So this is kind of the state of Ohio and he's made of pom-poms and he has googly eyes. He is my Lifetime Achievement Award that I won at Midwest Craft Con. One was given, was awarded. I don't know how you get a Lifetime Achievement Award. I just know that they messaged me and told me that they like to give it to me because of my contributions to the craft community and especially in the Midwest. I've been a speaker at Midwest Craft Con every year. I also teach at TNNA, which is in the Midwest. And um, I myself am a native Ohioan, even though I live in Tennessee. And um, yeah, so I I've achieved something in my lifetime, a pom-pom state of Ohio. We, we made her a thing <laughs> that did not quite fit over her head. <laughs> it started as a... Uh, a tapestry of palms. It turned into the shape of Ohio, kind of. And, um, or America. But it matches her hair, and that was the idea. And we wanted it to match her hair and her heart. And award it to her hair and her heart. And as a thank you for being with us all of these years. So that was last weekend, actually a week ago, that I went to Midwest Craft Con. I taught Biz Confidence. <laughs> and how to craft your customer path. So how to bring your people from finding you, usually on social media, through search, through falling in love with you, through trusting you enough to buy from you, and how everything needs to fit together on that path. I talk all about that in a six hour class on Creative Live. You can find it on Creative Live, my class, Make Your Customer Path, Craft Your Customer Path. And yeah, I talked about those two things at Midwest Craft Con, and then I did this awesome thing in my hotel room. So they had a, had a thing called a craft call, crawl on the first night, where if you wanted to do a craft in your room and let people come do a craft or have a party in your hotel room, because this was at the Embassy Suites, so the front half of the room is just like a living room and kitchen, and then there's a door and then your bedroom, so you could close the door to your bedroom and have people over in like your living room. It was super fun. Um, you put your name on a list and people came around and did something in your room. So what we did in my room was an essential oil make and take. They made roller balls, um, these little balls with a essential oil had made up recipes for crafters and makers. Midwest Craft Con is a conference for mid-career crafters, people who have started up their business and are working in their business, oftentimes as their full-time job. And so I made recipes like Craft Show Survival, which had our moon boosting blend and um, antibacterial oils in it. And I made one called um, Focus, which had peppermint and citrus oils to get you focusing. And basically I had recipe cards laid out. I had empty roller balls and then I had all my essential oils. And they would come in and they would make their blends, top it off with coconut oil. We would talk about how they would use it. And then I had a sign up form. If people wanted to learn more about using essential oils, they could sign up for a one-on-one -on -one with me. And we made over 30 roller balls in about an hour and a half. People just kept coming and coming and it was so much fun. Um, it's something I'm going to be doing more of across the country and that actually brings us to where I'm going to be next. So next week, March, I leave on March 6th through the 11th, I'm going to be in Seattle teaching a rollerball workshop uh, for a mom's group where we'll make up a blend specifically for keeping your sanity as a mom with young children. And I'll be doing three to four 
essential oils 101, learning the basics of how you use essential oils, how to choose the ones that are right for you and your family, and how to get them at the best price. So if you're in the Seattle area, check out the links below for all of the events I'm doing in Seattle. I'll be adding them there as I have them have the places nailed down. So you can join me in um, essential oil love and learning more about essential oils if you're anywhere in Seattle. I'm also going up to a yarn shop. Um, I'll include that. We're going to do natural solutions for knitters pains. So like what do you do when your shoulders are all cramped up from you knitting too much or you have arthritis or in your hands or you want to stay up to finish the gift in time for Christmas but you're feeling sleepy or you have got yourself all wound up looking at the Instagram hashtag for West Knits and now you can't sleep. So uh, we'll talk about using essential oils and natural products, replacing any toxic products you have been using in that workshop at that yarn shop. You can find the link below. That will be Thursday, which I think is the 8th. Um, I'm not so great with names. It'll all be linked up below. If you have any questions, just ask. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more vlogs from me, you want to see more behind the scenes, leave a thumbs up and leave a comment. That lets me know that you like it and helps other people find it. And if you want me to come to your town, leave me a message and let me know. I'm traveling the whole world this spring, teaching people how to use essential oils, both for their families and their family life, their mental and emotional well-being, and for their business, how to get things done, build confidence, and create daily habits. So if you've got questions about any of that or you want me to come teach you, we can do it on the phone. We can do it in person. Leave me a message below. So we're headed home from Midwest Craft Con. It's been so amazing and just unbelievable. I feel like I only shared a tiny little fraction of it. But if we met at Midwest Craft Con and I get, didn't get a chance to say goodbye, goodbye.